Hi, this is Nicole Austin with the Donna Downey Artist Gang, and I'm here to show you how to make this mixed media cannabis. Uh, first off, we're going to start with some fluid acrylic and add it just randomly to the background. I'm choosing to use similar colors that are close together on the color wheel, so I'm just using blues and aquas and just spreading that paint around with my fingers. Um, also get the bottom, the sides, if you're using a gallery, gallery wrapped canvas like I am. I'm also going to add some fluorescent blue acrylic paint and just going to use my palette knife just to vary the marks a little bit. Again, make sure to get the sides and um, the reason I'm using similar colors is so that with, if they're still wet and they mix, it won't make muddy brown colors. So at this point, you can just use any colors you like as long as they are analogous, similar um, to each other or close together on the color wheel. While the background is still wet, I'm going to add a stencil and wipe a little bit of the paint away with a baby wipe. Um, I'm just trying to build the background right now. And then I'm going to add some um, spray ink through stencil and make sure you use um, permanent ink, something that's not going to reactivate with the wet layers. So once that's dry, you want to go ahead and add in some marks with paint pens. You can also use acrylic paint. I just love the paint markers because they are quick and easy. And I'm just adding various marks um, and shapes and varying the size of the shapes as well. And I'm mostly using warm colors or colors that are going to pop off the background. So if you start with warm colors for your background, then your marks should be, you know, dark or um, cool. Um, so for, for me, I'm using mostly warm colors and a little bit of black. Um, you don't want to get too dark at this point, but you do want some variety. You're just kind of playing around at this point. Um, a lot of the background is going to be covered up, so this is your time to play and test out some colors, test out some, um, just what you, what you want your background to look like. And you can, you know, smudge it a little bit with your finger. Um, also add some splatters with the paint pens. Uh, you just want a variety of colors and textures and sizes of your shapes. Um, and then for the paint pens, I don't worry about them drying in between um, as long as they dry before the next layer. So once that layer is dry, I'm adding some drips with the fluid acrylic. This is neon pink. And I'm just kind of letting the drips fall down the canvas. I'm also adding some aqua drips as well. Then use your stencil to kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like, what the background will look like. And once that is, you've, once you've decided that's what you want, you go ahead and um, make sure the background is dry. And then you're going to add a darker color. Um, here I'm adding a really dark blue. And then you're going to lay the stencil on top while it's still wet and then rub away with the baby wipe. And once you lift up, you'll be able to see um, a little bit of where that flower is going to go. And to help it out a little bit, you want to take a Stabilo pencil it's water soluble so you can dip it in water and that will help you kind of outline the stencil a little bit where that's going to go and don't worry too much about um, the flower at this point because the Stabilo pencil the Stabilo pencil is just to it's just a guideline at this point so now that i know where my flower is going to go i'm going to go back with the um, with the acrylic paint um, the dark blue and kind of um, paint around that so that that so that the flower will stand out a little bit and then I'm going to add um, some spray ink through stencil. I'm using white. And I got a little bit of overspray, so I'm just really carefully um, wiping away the extra spray with a baby wipe, and being careful not to wipe away the Stabilo pencil. And you can also flip the stencil over and press it while it's still wet to get different marks. Again, this is just the background, so we don't worry too much about what's going to stay and what's going to go. Then, when that's dry, I'm going to go in with um, acrylic paint in a dark blue. And here I'm just tracing over the Stabilo pencil lines that I made. And um, 
You can also add extra petals if you want or alter the de design a little bit. It's up to you. Um, the reason I'm tracing around is so that now you can see what the petals, the inside is going to look like. So everything inside the petals is going to stay and everything outside the petals is going to disappear. So now I'm adding, I'm covering everything up in the background with the dark blue paint. And um, it's okay if a little bit of the white from the stencil or from the spray ink mixes in. I'm actually going to end up light lightening this background quite a bit. So right now this is just to give you an idea of what uh, what you want your final image to look like. And it's a nice way is just to kind of darken everything out so you can really see that flower really stand out. Now I'm going to trace around the flower with uh, fluid acrylic and it's a dark blue and you can gently squeeze just a little bit to let some of the drops come down. You don't want to you don't want to squeeze the bottle too much because then you'll get a, a lot of, of, of the fluid acrylic coming out. So just a little bit and let gravity do its job. Let the ink kind of slowly or the acrylic ink slowly um, drip down the page. Once that's dry, you can cover up your image so that when you spray, you don't end up getting it all over um, your image. And again, now I'm just, now you'll see me kind of, this is where it gets a little fussy, where you have to kind of play with the background and just to get that balance right. So right now I'm just going in and I'm adding in different elements. I decided I'd like some large gold circles, so I'm taking my paint pen and adding some um, gold circles to the background. Some of them will remain, some of them will disappear, um, but right now it's just to give a little bit more variety to the background. Um, adding more splatters with my, my paint pen, and then also going in with some white paint. Um, I, I decided to, let, to not let that dry because I kind of wanted to see what it would look like if the gold and the red and the white all mixed together. So I started to do that and decided I didn't like it. Um, so I went in and just wiped away with my baby wipe. And what's really great about working with the acrylic paint is that once you let your layers dry in between, any wet layer, any new wet layer on top is easily wiped away. So now I'm just bringing the background, kind of building the background up again um, and just adding some paint pen marks with a red paint pen and also adding more with the aqua. Um, I'm not worried too much about what it's going to look like because mo again most of this background is going to be covered up but I, I am trying to build up um, the background so that it is a kind of is a more of a contrast from the from the um, main image which is going to be the flower. So adding more um, spray ink with the stencil, adding more um, drips with the paint pens and I'm also trying to brighten up the flower petals a little bit. I wanted a little bit more variety in the petals. Um, so I decided to go back with the paint pens and just add little marks to really brighten up those petals. And now we're getting close to the end. I've just added some white acrylic paint, the fluid acrylic, and I'm just being really free with the brush strokes, um, dry brushing at this point, not adding any water and just uh, really trying to cover up most of the background just from the top, just to really let the flower image really stand out. I'm also adding um, just little dots and things in the background, just trying to vary some of the um, brush strokes and the brush marks just till I get it right. And this is the part where you just need to kind of play with it until it feels right to you. Then the last part, I've just decided to add some red X's with my paint pen just to kind of ground the whole flower. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've listed all the supplies in the description below, so go check it out.